fact, Mike, I know you've met and worked with members of the Canadian Council of the Blind and know that they offer a ton of support and services for those in the blind and low vision community. Yes, they do. And since most of the CCB's members have some degree of vision loss themselves, it truly is a self-help organization. Not to mention all the amazing activities they offer. Vancouver's Grant Hardy recently got to visit with the CCB's bowling group in Chilliwack, BC. And he did more than just visit. He joined in a practice and found out firsthand what the members get out of it. Let's check it out. When the members of the CCB Chilliwack Chapter Bowling Club arrive at Chillable Lanes, they put on their shoes and get ready for some good fun. The club has been bowling for more than 22 years, long before CCB BC Yukon President Anne McNabb joined. I organize the teams so that when we get here, there could be up to 12 of us or only six of us, and make sure that the people who need help get help and make sure everybody gets there and gets home again. To different degrees, we're all in the same boat. It's different sight loss issues, and but we all, we all understand one another, and we're all friends, and we all, I, th I think on the most part, we appreciate one another. Having fun and creating a stress-free space for socializing is the group's main goal. With that in mind, Sarah Peters guided me into position and told me to aim dead center. You want to get it down the middle, you want to get the head pin. Going straight can be a little, little tough, but let's give this a whirl. Okay. All right. Oh, darn it, that sounded like a... Gutter ball. Good thing I got another try. I'll aim a little more to the left, well, I guess. probably your knee is set oh. like that. Okay. All right. And straight Here ahead. Here we go. Oh. Is that the head pin? <gasps> Yay! And the three on the right. I'm not the only rookie at the bowling club. For Murray Ton, this is only his second time bowling with the group. I used to be pretty good, but I just, I lost it all with my eyes. For Murray, the loss of vision meant that he could no longer continue his job. Feeling lost, Murray eventually joined the CCB. Well, it's made me look more outgoing. Uh, meet a lot of people. Bowling group is uh, a lot of fun, and that's really about what I'd say. It's just a way to get out and get to people who, who are the same. Murray's wife, Colleen, says that it's been a tough transition. Vision loss impacted Murray in his confidence, in his ability to do um, a lot of things independent of help. Um, it, it, it pretty much changed his life 100%. The team gives Murray a lot of uh, emotional uh, support in the sense that many of them have been blind for much longer, so they're a bit more accustomed, I guess you would say, to the challenges, and they have um, had maybe a little more time to sort of adjust to a better mental state. The CCB Chilliwack group has already had a positive effect. Just the difference in how Murray feels about his ability to go out and do things is really already noticeable. After just a few months of, of uh, group activities, doing different activities with, with the group. The CCB Chilliwack Chapter Bowling Club offers support and guidance to keep its members headed in the right direction, both on and off the bowling alley. Wow, what an incredible group of people. And a big thank you to Murray and his wife for sharing their story. It just goes to show you just how important groups like the CCB are. They really do help people put themselves out there, socialize and rebuild their confidence. The dedication of Anne and the volunteers on the team is just fantastic. And they obviously have a lot of fun too. Do you bowl, Anthony? Occasionally I do, me and my friends will go hit the lanes, but not too often. What about yourself? No, I spend more time at the bar enjoying that aspect of bowling. <laughs> uh, in case you didn't know, that was actually Grant's first time bowling. And what he learned is that bowling is a remarkably accessible sport with very few adaptations. All that's really needed is some orientation and some alignment with the bowling alley. 